What's up YouTube? Welcome to Blessed Body Training. My name is Johnny Lewis. Uh, I welcome all my blessed bodies and blessed beauties to my channel and I am going to get it in today. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen. I'm just finishing up my coffee, you know, morning. Thank God it's Monday. Shout out to E.T., um, Eric Thomas. Uh, uh, I'm a Spartan dog, as you know, or as you didn't know, but you know now. So, you see, you repping the hot Michigan State. I'm from the D, even though I'm in Tempe, Arizona. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, so uh, got to represent at all times, you know, so. But anyway, we're going to get a chest pump in today. Like I said, it's Monday, National Chest Day. Uh, me and my cuz, uh, BJ, go get in at the gym today at LA Fitness in Scottsdale. Uh, we are going to get chest and tricep in. So you go see a few workouts that we like to do on chest day. And you also are going to get that high rep, heavy weight combo, you know, two things you need if you want to stay big and lean, you know, so uh, just stay tuned. Don't forget to, of course, watch this video, share, subscribe, you know, but have a thumbs up, like the video, please. I mean, if you like it, hopefully you do. Comment below if you have any suggestions for me. Um, remember, I'm new, fairly new to YouTube, and um, I'm open to any kind of criticism you have. I don't care if you mean and go hurt my feelings, but you know, if you have any constructive criticism, don't be afraid to comment below. Let me know what I can do better. I'm going to try my best to improve and take your advice if I think it's good advice. Um, but yeah, just let me know. And I hope you enjoy this video. And yeah, that's it. So let's get it. So I like to start every workout with some kind of ab workout. Sometimes I'll end the workout with the ab workouts, but I try to get in there every day. That's one muscle group that I think you can do a little bit every day and it won't really be considered overtraining because uh, it's a really easy muscle that heals pretty fast. Uh, I like to do about two or three different kinds of ab workouts. Definitely at least one of them focusing on obliques. So some kind of twist in motion as you're going up. Uh, and also uh, I like to do a lot of decline work too with the app. So try to get that in either before or after the workout. But um, in terms of warming up, of course stretch. Um, do some kind of warm up exercise before you do any heavy lifting. It can save you from pulling the muscle or getting injured. Um, warm up with something light. You know, something I can get a lot of reps in with before I start going heavy and gradually make my way up. Um, pyramid up, that way you get the high reps, you know, with the lower weight. And then once you get to the heavy weight, you know, then you can get that two or three reps in, you know, but with the heavy weight, so you building. That way you maintain that tone, body, but also you get that pump you need that's going to help you build muscle. Also, I like to do push-ups in between each set on chest day. I think it's really good for you because you're getting that do workout in for your chest. Uh, when I do chest, I do triceps too, so you can do close grip push-ups or you can do the uh, uh, spread your arms a little bit farther apart and focus more on your chest. Uh, so, so usually when I get anywhere between like 345, uh, 385, I like to make that my last set before I start going down because usually I can only get, you know, two or three, maybe four reps in with it. And then I start pyramid, pyramid down. And uh, of course, I always do the push-ups in between. Um, one thing that a lot of people forget is to do incline and decline uh, chest press, bench press, because, uh, you know, it's not something everybody think about, but I think it's really important the incline will focus on your uh, upper chest while the decline focuses on your lower chest. So it's really important to get that full pec workout, you know, uh, really to help stabilize your chest and make it stronger and improve your regular bench press too when you do the incline and decline. And of course, the push ups will too. Uh, so yeah, don't forget about that. Uh, I like to do two sets of each. Say I do four or five sets of the regular bench. I do two sets of incline and two sets of decline, um, just to you know complement the regular bench press. Um, 
focusing on triceps on chest day is a thing that a lot of people like to do, but I think it's really a good combination. Uh, definitely when it comes to uh, doing push-ups and dips because you can do dips and push-ups that focus on uh, chest and that focus on triceps. So it's really a great combination. Don't mind my silly cousins back there, you know. Always trying to mess up my video, but I love them anyway. So this is a combination with uh, skull crushers as well as the close grip, you know, bench press, but with lighter weight. That way you can get a lot of reps in. Uh, each set consists of uh, 30 presses and we do about three or four sets of them, but that way you get your high reps. And this weight is not too heavy, so I was considered consider this moderate weight but uh, you can do it with lighter weight and even do more presses if you want but uh getting that high amount of reps in is what's important as you can see i'm doing the skull pressures right now but anything with this range of motion is going to work out triceps so you can be creative with your tricep workouts and on a monday you know national chest day so we're getting this chest workout in we're getting this tricep workout in I'm on over there. I don't know what he's doing right now, but we working. Well, we working. We out here. And last but not least, I like to do these uh, gauntlet tricep workouts. So uh, they're really good. Usually I do them on the floor, but I did them on the bench today. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to remind you again, so don't forget to like, comment below, subscribe, and share. Thank you.